So the consumers that actually Credit Mantri serves are what we call as the credit invisibles. So in financial institutions, if 100 customers apply for a product, less than 20 actually get the product. So the 80 is really business that's left on the table, which is what we call as the credit invisible segment because most financial institutions are not able to see these consumers and able to deal with them. So what Credit Mantri is focused on is to solve for these customers who are what we are underserved segments and solve for why is it that they're not getting access to credit. Many of them are not getting access to credit because they have a poor history, have low credit scores in the past and have repayments that have been faulty because of which new lenders are unwilling to lend to them. Some of them are new to credit and never borrowed before and therefore lenders don't have a method to deal with them. Or three is some of them are credit healthy, have repaid but have low incomes. So most the unit economics that for a lot of uh, lenders does not add up in sourcing and working with these consumers. So for all of them we have a digitized approach which helps us to solve for this segment. I think uh, between livelihood helping consumers you know, deal with not having to deal with poverty and to drive impact and to create meaningful livelihoods is what we end up enabling the end user to be equipped for. So that's really the gap we are aiming to solve for.